Hey, hey, it's War Machine 395 here with a video review. Alright, so to start, a long while ago, I started this project. Alright, so this is the Jim Striker RGM 79 FP. Alright, so I went about uh, making that into the Jim Striker Custom. Alright, the blue and white menace from the Cantana manga, as I recall. Alright, so. This guy is a little bit taller. So I've got my resin kit, and I've finally finished working on it. I think, anyway. Unless you guys have any big ideas after I've shown you what I've got. That's it, I think. Um, so, without further... Hey further waiting, we'll uh, get to the point here. Alright, so, here's what I've got. Hopefully that comes into focus. Alright, so what I decided to do is, of course, painted it in the Jim Striker custom colors, and I did a lot of heavy oil washing to give it that rusty look, and of course I had to flat coat it afterwards, right? So, hopefully it comes across pretty good. So, it's kind of matte, and it, you can see where the rust is kind of dripping down in obvious places. Um, so, really, the articulation has stayed the same everywhere. Except for actually the legs, I think they get a little less, because the uh, resin parts here and here interfere with how much it can bend here. Alright? That part of the leg actually looks a little more like unicorn now, which makes me laugh a little. Alright, so you get about 90 degrees there, so that's less um, than it did initially. Um, I guess we'll start this out right. The head can go up and down with relative ease, and side to side. It's on a ball joint, right? It's a little loose in there, and the ball joint is on a peg system, so it can swivel forwards and backwards and get the usual chicken movement, as I like to refer to it. Um, alright, the backpack does not move in the slightest, because I've had to super glue it on there. Um, no movement in any of the thrusters or these parts on the side. Um, panels here, the reactive armor, fling out to the side so you can get a little further with your arms, which is kind of stiff now. So Max is out here, and, um, I can go back down here. Ooh, stiff. Anyway get the idea. Alright, and the shoulder armor itself does not go any higher than that. Alright, and it can go, if you can see this, forwards and backwards a little bit there. That's pretty good. Um, but again, really stiff right now. Um, right, and then the waist can rotate. No, it can't because the uh, thrusters. I was going to say it can rotate. It could before, but now it can't because the thrusters catch on either side of this bump here. Um, right, so the side skirts can pop out like that. The front skirts are both together still, so they can go actually solid resin parts in here. Sorry. Right here, these are solid resin. Both sides of this. I uh, You glue them together over the original parts inside here that I have black right here, and the poly cap inside, basically. And then that goes on the ball joint like it did before. Um, yes, and that can go up here like this. Alright? So a little better than 90 degrees to the chest. Alright, and we went over the knees earlier, because those were the obvious changes. And the ankle has no change whatsoever. It can go forwards and backwards. And can rotate a little and wiggle side to side. As well as the ankle armor can move a little as well. That's about it. Um, as for the... Oh, I just lost a thruster. Dang. Alright, I'm going to have to re-glue that later. Um, Alright, and the elbows can reach up and touch the shoulder with the fingers. Oh, damn it, I lost a finger too. That is annoying. Alright, so you can see there, I've added the articular fingers, and I've lost one. 
That is unfortunate. Alright, um... Well, we'll keep going. I'll find it later before I take pictures. Um, so I can rotate here, full 360, and ball jointed here, and the wrist can move on these new hands. That's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> seems this is the worst that's ever fallen apart, really. Alright, so... I am hoping I don't have to reshoot this at this point. We'll move them back and we'll take a look at the accessories this guy came with. Alright, so in the original packaging, this guy came with his beam spear. Alright, the original gym. And uh, his shield. Alright, so I've weathered that. I hope it looks okay. And the spikes pop out on that rather nicely. And that can peg into the arm. In the old way, right? So that's just the sliding mechanism. That's good. As well as the machine gun, right? With the folding stock and movable handle. Alright, now with this. Came a few weapons. One that I'm not altogether familiar with the name of, but basically uh, this length here goes along the underside of the arms. All this part goes forward. It's a knuckle, as they phrased it on the Wikipedia site. Um, there's two of those. Alright. Um, Alright, and these as well. I'm not sure how much I like these. I didn't bother painting them because I don't really like them. Um, so, kind of keep those in reserve. Alright. So these ones that look like brass knuckles. Um, it's pretty good. And... more kind of look along the same lines and those it's there put a little silver paint on them there's some sort of electrifying weapon and one more part the shield or another shield you can mount some of these weapons on the inside of it um, all right so these can kind of sit on here. I put some brass pegs in it. So you can do that. Um, right, and these can too. I just need to... Yeah, see it doesn't actually peg in all that well. So it just means I'm probably going to put a little tiny bit of sticky tack for that to work correctly. And I will, actually. Um, I'm going to go find that finger now. And I'll be right back, okay? Alright, so as you can tell, he's now has no hands. Anyway, I um, encountered a slight issue when I was trying to find that finger and I couldn't find it. So, um, basically, we're just going to go with the out-of-the-box hands for this review. No big deal. Um, hopefully, if I can't finger the finger, I'll actually weather these properly so it matches the rest of the dude here. Um, so anyway, uh, just to continue on, I guess, we've got an open palm now, a trigger finger hand, a open fist, and another open fist. Alright, so good setup. Um, all the accessories he's got. Plus, we have another two things as well that I forgot initially. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still kind of coughing. Um, two custom beam sabers, all right, also included in the resin cast. Alright, um, so, to start, I'll show you how these fit together nice. Alright, alrighty, so the beam saber fits in here, the larger part of the peg actually fits in there the best, then it'll go in there and it won't move at all, which is good, and then you just put the beam saber in like this, it's nice, it's snug, alright.
Alright, and let's try something else just for the heck of it. This one here for the side. Just a moment. And there we go. Nice. Alright. So, I think another problem we had with... Alright, let's mount all these accessories. Because, um... It's another... So that beam saber can go in there. Throw the hands over here. Okay, so one of the parts that I added on was this nice little ball joint here and a socket on the backpack. Now the other cool feature that is has, this is what I was thinking of to begin with, but then I realized, hey, why not add another ball joint to that so I have some options, right? So that way, the beam spear can hit on the backpack like that, hang off nice, alright, that's pretty cool like that but then the other option of course is to use this backpack part which I'm just gonna put some sticky tack on so we can kinda just a second here right. this way the shockers can fit on there too Oh dang. Again, everything is coming apart in this review. Oh joy. Right? Alright, so basically that just pops in there like that. It's going to be really stiff and not want to go anyway. Get the idea. I'm not going to try and break anything right now. As I seem to be having bad luck with that right now. Anyway. Um, let's just get that sky part for a second. We'll try something. And get these on because these are probably my favorite accessory. To be honest, they look imposing and they have that Tompa look to them. I think it's what we call that. everything else on it. We'll see how we look. Assuming that beam saber does not fall off again. <laughs> Just a moment. Nice. Alright, so. I feel like that was the pose this guy is made for. Um, Alright, so, final thing we're going to do, I think, is just a couple size comparisons. 
and I guess this thing is running really long now. So we'll try and pull a wrap to this. Stand them up straight and head to one side. Alright, so. Alright, for size comparison, my last painted kit, the HUC Zuda. Um, also painted, right? And uh, something that I had just as long as the Gym Striker that I've been working on. Um, this one I purposely kept clean because it is the same height as the kit before I modded it or and added the resin kit and whatnot. Um, all right, so you can see where it has gotten a tiny bit taller. Not a lot, but it's bulked out a ton. I don't even know how it's standing straight yet. It's yeah, the backpack has gotten bigger for sure. And I, oh dear, I am leaning forward. Yeah. Yep, so it's just gotten a little bit, bit taller. <coughs> Not a lot. Like I said before, it's all in the thighs here. That's it for this review. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you at the next review.